So, let us say I want to now know the member we know do not say transformation we say member rotation matrix there is a reason why I am called this as rotation I will explain this later member rotation matrix. Okay. Let us consider a beam element which is whose length is L i marked in red color. Okay. You can see a L i. The member has two nodes j th node and k th node is it not you can see here j th node and k th node. Now, let us say the member is oriented along its local axis system which we all know it is x m y m and z m you can see here x m okay, y m and z m is a local axis. So, the member is along aligned along x y is 90 degree anti clockwise z is further 90 degree anti clockwise. So, x m y m z m is a standard local axis system along which the member is aligned which is a very common principle what we also followed in the two dimensional analysis. Okay. We borrow the same logic back again here. Now, this local axis system that is x m y m z m is placed arbitrarily in space okay, with reference to the standard reference axis system x y z you can see here. Okay. So, reference axis system is x y z local axis system is x m y m z m. So, on the other hand we try to say by making this statement we are making an indirect statement that the member is aligned arbitrarily. Okay. It is placed arbitrarily in space correct because x m y m z m is aligned to the member you can see that. So, the member is arbitrarily placed now. So, now let us try to find out the angle of that axis system x m y m z m with reference to x y z frame. Okay. So, gamma x gamma y gamma z are actually the angles of x m axis with respect to x y and z respectively you can see that in this figure x m axis with respect to x let us say gamma x x m axis with respect to y okay, gamma y x m axis with respect to z okay, gamma z. One can always find the projection of this which will be actually equal to L i C x okay, this distance this value will be L i C x is it not. 
this value will be L i c z and this value okay, is L i c y. So, obviously, this value is also equal to L i c x is it not and this value is also equal to L i c z. Therefore, the diagonal length can be simply root of sum of these squares. So, this value now is actually equal to L i root of c x square plus c z square. This can be easily computed, no confusion in this. So, I call this as figure 3, which I am going to use for member rotation. Okay. So, the figure is clear and these are the angles made by the x m axis with respect to the reference axis x y z respectively. Now, we can also write C x as cos gamma x let C y be cos gamma y and C z be cos gamma z which are direction cosines. Okay. Now, interestingly as the j and k coordinates of the member positioned in space are known because you know the position of this member okay, or known. The direction cosines can be written as follows. C x will be x k minus x j by L i c y will be y k minus y j by L i and c z is z k minus z j by L i and L i can be simply said as root of x k minus x j square plus y k minus y j square plus z k minus z j square. So, now we know c x, c y and c z. We know of course, the angles between them. So, direction cosines can be easily estimated based upon these set of equations written on the screen now. Okay. Interestingly, x k, y k, and z k. Similarly, x j, y j and z j are actually coordinates of the member or the beam element placed in space is it not placed in space. Okay. Having said this, it is now important to note that the direction cosines give the components of beam element only along the reference axis system
but an important information of orientation of the local axis system with reference to the reference axis system is not known. Okay, that is very important, we need to find out this also. Therefore, it is clear that beam element is oriented along the local axis which is in my case x m y m z m. Hence, hence orientation of x m y m z m axis that is the local axis system with reference to the reference axis system which is x y z is called as the psi angle. We need to compute this, okay? this is to be estimated. So, what we are trying to estimate is the orientation of local axis system with respect to the reference axis system that is what we are interested in. Okay? To do this we need to estimate two things. One, the direction cosines, two the psi angle. So, we need to know both of this to do this, right. So, importantly, let us also try to understand the angle of inclination of alpha and beta. The angle of alpha and beta is also important which will be using in the transformation. So, we need to actually now transform the beam element vectors or the beam element matrices to the reference axis system. So, friends in this lecture we learnt about the transformation of vector v 0 along any axis y 1, y 2, y 3. We have learnt a beam element transformation from local axis to the global axis. We understood that direction cosines which gives me the component along reference axis and the psi angle which gives me the orientation of local axis 
with respect to reference access system or import. This is to be estimated for each member in a space frame. Okay. I hope you understood and the figures are of good clarity, you will be able to redraw them and understand the conventions and notations which I tried to explain during the lecture. Give a reading once again and try to understand. If you have any difficulties, please post it in the discussion forum, we will try to help you out. Thank you very much.